Boys, today we are on this private island as elementals. Yeah, and look, I got the element of earth. And whoa, that is awesome. And I got fire checkers out. What the? And wait, guys, check me out. I got lightning. Let's go. But guys, since we're on this island, we should build like an epic beach house. And wait a minute. Yeah, that sounds like a banger idea. And wait, guys, what's that thing over there? Oh, I think that's an airdrop. And wait, hold on. We should go check that out. Maybe it has like supplies or something. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can use this to make our beach house. Oh, my God gosh and yeah wait guys check it out it's just landing right over there and look it's one in a chest okay here let's see what's inside of it and whoa wait look there's shulker boxes and a bunch of blocks <gasps> guys we can use this to build our beach house oh our beach house is gonna be awesome oh yeah this is gonna be sick i'm grabbing some of these shulker boxes and i guess i'll grab some of these cobwebs oh hey guys you guys are on this island too and wait what who's that wait speaker woman what are you doing here uh i'm here to play with you guys oh no get out of here it's boys only hey put me down what in the world <laughs> and wait that was actually pretty funny <laughs> yeah but no girls allowed this is a boys only elemental island and yeah wait do you even have any elemental powers do i have any elemental powers well what do you think about this and, whoa wait what is that water is that really all you can do check out what we've got we've got like lightning and fire and stuff wait water is like so weak uh, yeah look at your puny little water whenever i have an epic fire laser what no water is super strong you guys are underestimating the power of water i don't know it looks like you just placed down a bucket of water yeah that's what it looks like but hey we're about to build an epic boys only beach house and no girls allowed, right? Yeah, no girls! Oh, fine. But you know what? I'll build my own beach house and it'll be way better than yours. And what? You think it's gonna be better than ours? No, wait. You know what? Boys, here. Let's head over here. We gotta start working on our beach house. I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of blocks inside of these shulker boxes. So let's get down to it. Yeah, let's get down to building the most epic beach house ever. And whoa, yeah. Check out all of these blocks that we have. We have so much stuff. Okay, here. Let's get down to building. Uh, We should probably go ahead and like start building like the base of our beach house first. So here, I guess we can build it out of some sandstone. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be so cool cool and there's even fire bricks so i can make an epic fire castle and whoa wait what did you just fly oh yeah check this out with my fire powers i could do this whoa, what the oh my gosh that is actually so cool all right well here everyone let's get down to building we gotta make the most epic beach house we have to make it better than speaker woman oh yeah there's no way her house is gonna be better than ours my house is gonna be way better than your guys's uh no way there's three of us and only one of you we're gonna be able to build it faster better and just better overall yeah maybe in your dreams we'll see about that all right all Alright, and anyways, guys, the base of our house is looking awesome, but here, we actually need, like, a way to get in, so, uh, wait, does anyone have a pickaxe? Oh, gosh, wait, there's some wood over there, I'll go grab a pickaxe. Oh, don't worry, I can just handle these blocks. And, oh, yeah, right, because you have, like, your crazy earth powers. Oh, okay, that helps a lot. Alright, well, anyways, are there any doors in here? And, okay, it doesn't look like there's any doors or anything. Okay, I guess we can just get the doors this later. This is just the platform, this is not the entrance. And, oh, wait, they're just gonna be the platform? Okay, well, here, we should probably work on the floor. Does anyone have any more sandstone? Uh, yeah, I have a bunch. Uh, here, just take a few stacks. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. And all right, here, let's get down to building. This is gonna be sick. Wow, your sandbox looks so weird. And what, sandbox? Yeah, this is also not our house. Uh, this is just a platform for our house. Yeah, this is just the foundation of the house, okay? Yeah, well, it looks ugly. What, what have you built? Hold on, let me see. I'm coming out of the door right now. And what, what do you mean ugly? Your platform literally is like held up by puny fences. Uh, yeah, this is great infrastructure. You wouldn't understand. What in the world? Oh my gosh. All right, well, here, guys, it looks like our platform is done. So uh, what do we need to do next? We got to start building the actual house, right? And wait, should, we should probably build it out of wood, right? Uh, yeah, but I think we should make some like birch stairs going up to it to make it look awesome. And oh my gosh, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, here, let me also go ahead and grab a little bit of wood from this chest. And oh wait, hold on. We have a lot of wood here. We can just go ahead and craft ourselves a crafting table. And oh, you already got it perfect yep and let me craft some birch slabs boom there we go and i just wanted to like look oh, super awesome so let me just place a bunch down real quick and whoa wait you're building one of those staircases okay that seems sick all right um well here i'll go ahead and build on top of the house and i'll start building like the actual house itself so uh i guess we can go ahead and start putting down the walls uh, wait no if you're putting down the walls make them actually look nice well, what do you mean this does look nice what am i supposed to do uh, here let me show you uh let me just jump up there real quick and oh we have to get rid of these oh don't worry guys i got this and oh yeah right because you have your powers perfect all right but anyways how are we supposed to build these walls all right look at this we're gonna grab some oak wood like this and we're gonna go up like this and then we're gonna go on the inside and we're gonna just put some of this here oh 
okay, I see what you're going for. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That does look a lot better than what I was building. So here, I guess let me go ahead and grab some of those materials as well. And uh, wait, we need some oak. And then wait, what was the other thing that you had? It was like terracotta or something, right? Yeah, this is gray terracotta. Perfect. All right, all right. And oh, Speaker Ruby, thanks for moving all the stuff outside. Yeah, I think it's smarter to have it all outside instead of just in the box. Yeah, that should be a lot quicker getting materials. And whoa, what the? This thing is already looking so fancy. What in the world? Yeah, now we just gotta add a door. Uh, let me add the door real quick. All right, all right. Well, here, I'll start building the other way around. So let's just go over here. Come on. And okay, wait, how many blocks away from the edge does it need to be? So it needs to be one, two, three. And then, okay, I see. And then we gotta put this here. And then we gotta keep putting more terracotta. And boom, this is gonna be so awesome. All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna finish up this real quick. Whoa, what are you guys building? That looks kind of weird. What, weird? Uh, you cannot be talking. You're literally building a box that's being held up by uh, the fences. What is that? This is a great foundation for my beach house. You have no idea how anything works, okay? And what in the world? Oh my gosh. All right, well, here, guys, let's just go ahead and finish up all of our walls. Uh, let's just go ahead and put these blocks down like that, and then we just have to build them up like this. This is gonna be the most awesome-looking beach house ever. Oh, here, Dash, I'll help out on the side. And, oh, perfect. Thank you very much. And, all right, guys, once we get, like, the base foundation of our beach house done, we should start building, like, a bunch of cool activities and stuff inside of it so that, you know, the visitors don't get bored. Oh, yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea, and we can use the platform to hide stuff underground. Exactly! It's gonna be so epic, but here, let's go ahead and put down all of these blocks for now, and then we gotta put down the oak wood over here in each corner. And, oh, wait, I ran out of terracotta. Hold on. I need to go ahead and grab a little bit more. Is there any more in here? And, oh, perfect. There is. All right. Oh, my gosh. This house is coming along great. Yeah, here. I guess the next thing that we need to do is just go ahead and add in the roof. And, wait, we can go ahead and put, like, a whole frame of these wooden blocks over here. This is gonna look really nice. And, oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, you can literally fly. That is so OP. Yeah, I am super awesome. Well, anyways, guys, since the base of our house is done, we should start working on those activities. And, yeah, you're right. But, anyways, what type of activities should we build first? Hmm. What do people usually do at a beach house. Wait, guys, why don't we build a racetrack? And whoa, 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 wait, what in the world is that? Oh, it's just a motorcycle. What the? Where'd you get that from? Wait, was that inside of the supply drop? Uh, yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, yeah, that is an excellent idea. Okay, we should definitely do that. Uh, here, I guess we can build it like around here on the side of our house. So here, let's see. What type of block would be good for the racetrack floor? Let's see. Let's see what we can do. And oh, wait, what about some of this acacia wood? I feel like this would work. Yeah, probably. And no one really likes acacia wood. Yeah, so here, we can just go ahead and use it all for our racetrack. And wait, we should probably go ahead and turn it into fences so you know we can have like a little fence area outlining the racetrack so here let me go ahead and craft some fences really quick all right well let's just keep on digging out this racetrack oh that's gonna take forever here hang on i'll craft some shovels and oh what well, you can craft shovels perfect that'd be awesome and here while you're digging out the area for like the road of the racetrack i'll go ahead and start putting down these fences so that you know we can have like a little barrier for it all right guys here you go here's your shovels and oh perfect thank you very much and here let me grab this yeah this is gonna be so awesome the best racetrack ever yeah i bet speaker woman's house doesn't have a racetrack uh, I don't need a racetrack. My house is way cooler than you guys' and, Wait, hold on. Let me take a look at your house again. What have you done since last time I checked? And, uh, it literally still looks the same. It just looks like a box. Why? Hey, uh, you can't rush perfection. Uh, okay. Whatever you say. But here, let's just go ahead and finish putting down all of these fences. Our house is gonna be so much wait, better. And Wait, why? Instead of mining out all of the sand, we could have just put the racetrack on top of the sand. Well, yeah, we could have done that. But then the floor wouldn't look cool. And, you know, we need our racetrack to look epic. All right, well, how are we building this floor? Are we just making it out of acacia wood? Or wait, actually, we can just go ahead and make it out of stone. There's a bunch of stone inside of this one shulker box. So here, let's just go ahead and fill it all in. Oh, yeah, I already got a bunch of stone. Let's go. This is going to look so sick. And hold on, we ran out of acacia fences. So here, I'm going to go craft us some more. This is a pretty short racetrack, if this is all there is. Oh, no, we're just adding, you know, a bit of uh, texture before we move on. Yeah. And yeah, no, this is not going to be the entire racetrack. We got to make it go like all the way to the end of the island over there and then back in like a big loop. It's going to be so epic. Oh, that sounds epic. I cannot wait for this racetrack track to be done i'm gonna go so fast yeah let's go this is actually gonna be so awesome all right uh here i guess i'll go ahead and keep putting down the fences and you guys can keep digging out the floor here we go and oh my gosh there's gotta be a faster way to do this it's so slow just you know using shovels and stuff i mean i can use my elemental powers but it might take a little bit longer and yeah that is pretty cool but it is still taking a while oh wait What's this, a creative switcher? Oh, my house is gonna look so good with this. And wait, what? What did you find? Hold on, that sounds interesting. Oh, I just found a switch that allows me to go into creative mode. What? We need that! Uh, no, you don't. There's only one, and it's for me. What? No, we need it. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you're in creative mode right now? And hold on, I need to test this. Wait, what? Yep. Now I can make my house and fly. Well, I actually can still fly. Give it back. We need it. Uh, no, there's only one. And wait, wait, no, this is our island, though. Come on, we rented this place. Yeah, it's, we got here first as well. Yeah, hand over the creative switcher. Hey, let me go. You can't even do any damage to me. I can't do damage, but I can still annoy you. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Okay, okay, fine. Here, 
you guys can have it. My house is still gonna look way better, even if you guys have creative mode. All right, all right, we'll see about that. But anyways, now that it's an even playing field and we all have creative, our house is gonna be so much more epic. So here, let me go ahead and use it now in three, two, one, and... <gasps> Oh my gosh, it actually worked here. Guys, switch to creative mode. It's gonna make building so much faster. Oh yeah, let me do that. And boom, there we go. I am now in creative. Oh, there you go, speaker baby. All right, let me use this and there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm in creative. Let's go. All right, well, speaker Owen, our house is gonna look so much nicer now that we have creative mode. So uh, yeah, best of luck. Right, well, now that we've got creative, uh, we can make this go really fast now. And oh my gosh, yeah, guys, we can actually make this so much faster. And wait, I'm pretty sure what we can also do is let me go ahead and grab a shovel really quick. And I'm pretty sure if I run the commands slash brush then i can go ahead and get the shovel and wherever i use it on it turns into a brush look at that it's like a brush and we can just like paint in our track pretty much this is so op oh that's really good uh can you drop one of those for me and uh yeah wait here let me go ahead and drop this for you over there there you go and uh here speaker ruby i guess you can have one as well oh thanks uh, this is gonna make things so much faster and yeah this is actually gonna be our secret trick to beating speaker woman's house let's go oh yeah and let's make it go up here just like this and up the mountain this is looking so cool and oh my gosh yeah guys this is gonna be so sick <gasps> wait a minute we should have like a little thing that makes it go inside of the mountain so wait, wait wait hold on stop for a moment we can just have it go and like have a loop inside of the mountain and then come back out on the other side that's gonna be so sick oh yeah that's awesome yeah that sounds great yeah this is actually gonna be the coolest racetrack ever so here i guess let's just go ahead and dig this out and okay but it's taking too long hold on let me do another brush command and wait oh we're in creative we can stop using stone oh yeah you're right we can literally use whatever block we want but here anyways now that i've got this new brush ready let me go ahead and test this out and okay perfect i should be able to dig this out like super fast now with this brush let's go and oh wait there's some water here let me just go ahead and slash slash drain that boom there we go and all right let's get back to digging this tunnel and oh my gosh there's so much gravel here uh, we can just get rid of this later while you guys work on the track i'm working on the fences yeah i'm gonna keep on working on this track and look at it now it looks so cool let's go let's go in here guys i just finished digging out a tunnel so now we have an entire cave that goes inside and outside of this mountain this is so cool all right well let's start putting the racetrack in here and making this look super awesome and wait we should probably make this cave look super spooky and have a bunch of elemental stuff here and oh yeah that sounds like a great idea we should have like some obstacles in here like traps and stuff to you know actually make the racetrack like a bit of a challenge that would be super epic oh yeah uh let me start working on the elemental stuff and you can start working on the traps let's go all right well anyways before we actually start doing any of the traps i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the racetrack since you know that's like the main thing and here let me just go ahead and finish putting these blocks over here there we go i just need to bring this on the same level as the floor and okay perfect our loop is almost complete wait where should we make it end should we just have it go like around our house yeah i think it should go around our house and then we should show off and make it go around the speaker on its house and oh yeah wait that actually would be pretty funny all right well speaker one we're making our racetrack go around your house wait what get your racetrack away from me uh well i mean it's not your property we kind of rented this place so uh, we can do whatever we want what? no this is my side it doesn't matter and you know what fine whatever here we'll just build it on our own side and it's still gonna look so much better here i just need to go ahead and finish putting down all of the blocks and here we go i'm just gonna go ahead and make it go around our house in the front over here boom and here we go it has been connected let's go now we've got a looping racetrack this racetrack is awesome yeah this is so awesome and i'm making this part a skull over here so it looks super scary and whoa but you're making it a skull that is actually so cool but yeah here we should probably go ahead and finish putting the fences around here just to make sure that you know like no one falls off the racetrack or anything because that would be pretty bad yeah i already finished placing them down at the front let's go here i'll start placing them down on the other side and then we can get started on those traps my house is coming along so much better than your guys's and wait hold on can i see what your house looks like i haven't seen the inside it kind of just looks like a big box uh no it's not ready yet you'll see it when it's done okay okay and guys when we're all done our houses we should have a tour of each other's houses so that we can see which one's better oh yeah that's gonna be awesome and our house is definitely gonna win the tour yeah but i think that might be a bit embarrassing for speaker woman uh no it's not it's gonna be embarrassing for you guys okay okay we'll see about that but anyways guys here let's just go ahead and finish up with our racetrack this thing is gonna be so epic we just gotta finish putting all of these fences around here and it's almost done all right well i'm gonna make the start and finish line at the base let me just do this real quick and oh yeah good idea we're gonna need a start and finish line but anyways it looks like the fences are almost done i can't wait to see how this looks when it's all done guys we should test it out we should do a race all three of us and see how you know good it is oh yeah that's definitely gonna be awesome yeah that sounds like a lot of fun yeah but here let's just go ahead and finish up putting all these fences we're almost done and uh here i need to go ahead and put some blocks over here on the water and boom 
boom, there we go. All the fences are done. This racetrack is looking awesome. And whoa, wait, Speaker Man, I just looked at your skull. This thing looks sick. Oh, yeah, I put lava eyes. Doesn't it look super scary? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, wait, that actually looks awesome. Dude, it's like a Halloween-themed racetrack. I didn't even know this, but yeah, this thing is so sick. Let's go. The cave area also looks really cool because there's like lava pouring in from the walls. Yeah, the cave's not done, though, but I think we're ready for a test drive. And yeah, I think we are. All right, here, everyone, let's head over to the start area. And Speaker Man, you still got those dirt bikes, right? Uh, yeah, I do. And oh, perfect. Here they are. All right, well, like, uh, everyone ready here let's go ahead and all hop on a bike whoa 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 no way i'm getting on a bike and it's not my color uh wait there's different colors yep uh i got my spray paint and boom there we go i got my red bike and whoa what wait what the spray paint hold on i need to spray paint my bike as well let me grab some spray paint really quick and also some purple dye here we go and here let me head over into the crafting table so i can go ahead and change my bike to my color yeah i'm doing that too and there we go. My bike is now purple. This is awesome. There we go. Mine is orange. All right. All right. Well, anyways, here, everyone hop on your bikes. Are you guys ready to begin the race? Or we're going this way, right? Or, oh, wait, hold on. Are we going this way? This is the way to the start. And, oh, yeah, right. Because we have to go, like, inside of the skull. And, anyways, is everyone ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. On your marks. Get set. Go. I am going. And, oh, wait, guys. It looks like I'm in the lead right now. And, oh, gosh, speaker baby's catching up. Oh, gosh. Wait, how did you get ahead of me? I'm just faster than you, I guess. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here we go. We're going inside of the skull part. And, Oh, wait, that was a pretty sketchy turn. And, ow, ow, wait, my bike went into the lava. Wait, dude, you guys are getting so ahead. Uh, yeah, maybe just be better at driving. Bye, Dash. It looks like I'm gonna win. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, come on. No, this is still recoverable. I can still catch up. Come on, come on. And, oh, wait, no, actually, never mind. You guys already run. GG's. Yeah, you need to get better at driving. Yeah, 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 whatever. But, anyways, the racetrack is fully functioning, and that's all that matters. Anyways, now we should get started on those traps inside of the cave area. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, poison darts would be awesome. And, oh, yeah, poison darts would be sick. We should just have, like, a whole area with dispensers that shoot like traps and fireballs and stuff at people. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this entire wall out of lava. And whoa, wait, the entire wall. Okay, yeah, that sounds a bit crazy, but yeah, that sounds super awesome as well. So here, I guess I'll go ahead and get started on the dispensers. I'm just going to build like a whole wall of dispensers here that just randomly shoots stuff at you when you're trying to get by. Oh, here, I can help out with the dispensers. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. And guys, I just realized this is actually perfect. Whenever the dispensers fire arrows or fireballs or whatever, they're going to push people into the lava on the other side of the room. This is awesome. Yeah, this looks so scary as well. Oh, I'm so happy for that. Yeah, they're starting to become like a Halloween-themed racetrack. Well, I'm not complaining. This looks awesome. Plus, Halloween is the best holiday. What? No, Christmas is the best holiday. No, Dash, everyone knows that Halloween is the best holiday. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Well, I don't really care about the holidays because uh, they both give you candy. So uh, they're all, like, pretty good. Uh, Christmas is the best holiday. I want to get lots of gifts. And yeah, see, guys, even Speaker Owen agrees with me. Christmas is obviously the best. All right, and the wall is almost completely covered in lava. This is already becoming super sick. Awesome. Yeah, this area is looking so sick here. Right now, I'm just setting up like a repeater thingy so that the dispensers fire once every few seconds. Wait, instead of doing that, why don't we set up a tripwire so like whenever the racers come through, they'll set it off and then they'll set off the dispensers. And oh, whoa. Okay, yeah, that actually sounds like a much better idea than just have it like randomly go off. Uh, Okay, well, where should we put the tripwire? We're gonna have to like uh, break some of the lava to make room for it. Uh, I guess we can put it like over here. Oh, why don't we just put it at the start? And Oh, yeah, I guess we can put it at the start. That way it's not gonna mess with the lava or anything. So here, I guess we can just go ahead and put one trip wire over here and then uh we can go ahead and have our second one right over here boom there we go and there you go i connected it with the string perfect well anyways now let me go ahead and grab some redstone in here let's test it out is it gonna activate the redstone let's see and wait what? did it activate the redstone hold on oh it did okay perfect and now we have to make this redstone signal go all the way to the dispensers inside i'll start digging out a hole from the redstone over here all right perfect sounds good same here i'm just digging out a hole as well and okay perfect the holes have connected all right now let's go ahead and connect all of this redstone to go to the dispensers and we're gonna need to put some repeaters in here because there is no way this signal is getting all the way across. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, all right. Well, anyways, let's just put these repeaters over here and hold on. We should probably put like a few of them so that we can have a little bit of extra delay. All right, I think we're done, Dash. Should we test that out? And yeah, this looks like it's about done. Uh, yeah, here, let's test it out. Let's go ahead and hop on some more bikes and Oh, wait, I just went through it by accident. Uh, wait, did it work? Oh, wait, hold on. We have to fill the dispensers. We didn't even put anything inside of them yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, well, while you guys have been working on that, I want you to look at the walls and check this out. Boom! And, whoa, what the? What is all this? Uh, this is like ash and stone. It looks super cool, and it really adds a bunch to this. Yeah, it really does. That area looks epic. But anyways, here, let me go ahead and grab this dispenser with all of the arrows, and I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all of the other dispensers so that, you know, they all have arrows inside of them now. And boom, there we go. Now all of the dispensers are filled with arrows. Okay, uh, Speaker Baby, I think it's time to test it out. Here, do you want to go over the tripwire hook and I'll see if it works? Yeah, let me just go out this side so I don't set it off while leaving. All right, all right, sounds good in here. Let me know when you're about to go in. All right, Dash, I'm on my way. All right, all right 
here we go. We need to see if we timed it correctly so that, you know, when you go over the tripwire and then end up here, it'll fire the arrows. And go. And, uh, wait. I think we added a little bit too much delay. You went right past those. Okay, hold on. I think I need to break a few of those repeaters. Yeah, probably. I'm just going to loop back around again. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Come back for a second try. Everything should be fixed now. So here, let's see if the timing is better. All right, I'm going through. All right. All right. Here we go. And <gasps> that was perfect. It went off like when you were in the middle of here. So if anyone was in survival mode, that would be perfect. And it would knock them into the lava. Yeah, that was perfect. Let's go. All right. Well, anyways, here, let's go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer. And wait, let me also go ahead and grab some vines. And here, we can just go ahead and put these on top of the dispensers to make it look, you know, like a little bit more hidden. And and boom, there we go. Everything looks so cool now. And whoa, wait, you really replaced all of the walls with this stone. This actually looks so epic. Yeah, this is definitely better than the beach house at Speaker Roman's building. Like, look at how awesome this looks. And yeah, wait, this looks awesome. Wait, Speaker Roman, how's your house coming along? We haven't taken a look at it in a while. And whoa, wait, uh, guys, her house is actually looking really big. Wait, what are you building? Uh, I'm building the coolest things ever, of course. Uh, like what? We've got a racetrack. What do you have? What's, it's a secret. What would I tell you? You guys will see when you actually look at it. And, uh, okay, sure, whatever. But anyways, guys, now that our racetrack is done, what should we build next? We've still got a lot of work to do. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we make an epic parkour course to get onto the volcano? And, whoa, wait, that's a volcano? I didn't even notice. What the? Yeah, come here and you can look. You can see that it's actually a volcano. There's lava in here. And, wait, wait, hold on. I want to check this out. And whoa, what the? Okay, this really is a volcano. And wait, you mean like a parkour course on top of it? That'll be so sick. Yeah, I, I also think we should just uh, replace all this obsidian with actual lava to make it more deadly. And yeah, exactly. Exactly. We don't want anyone falling down to land on the obsidian. Uh, they should just fall straight into the lava. That'll make it more risky. Hey, you can't build on the volcano. That's public property. Well, we got to it first, so bleh. Yeah, we claimed this land. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you can't just claim public property. That's illegal. Uh, we're like the pioneers. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, wait, I'm pretty sure that's how it works over here on the islands. There's no such thing as ownership. What? Yes, there is. All right, well, let's start building the parkour going down to our base. And Oh, yeah, here. We should just make it loop all the way around our base and everything. It's going to be so epic. Why don't we go ahead and build it out of some smooth stone? Because smooth stone looks really nice here. Uh, wait, why smooth stone? Let's make it actually look really awesome. Let's see. Let's see if we can find anything that's like fire. And oh, yeah, something fire themed would be pretty cool. Wait, why don't we use those same blocks that you use in the cave? What were they called? It was like ashen stone something. And oh, yeah, okay, let's use some of these ashen stone bricks. These things look so sick. Yeah, these look good. So let's just make these jumps real quick. Let's make it right here. And wait, while you're doing it on that side, no, wait, hold on. Come over here. We're doing it here. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we'll do it over here. Yeah, here, we should just have it go all the way over to our house and then we can also have it go over the volcano and loop all the way around it's gonna be so sick yeah this is looking awesome yeah but guys aren't these jumps a little easy and wait hold on let me test it out i didn't test it out yet and actually yeah you're right i'm not gonna lie these jumps are pretty easy but wait a minute guys we can set up some traps on this parkour as well up here we should probably finish building the parkour first and then we can start building some traps oh yeah i'm gonna raise the lava level a bit so it actually looks super scary and oh yeah good idea wait hold on let's see what this looks like and, oh wait you're raising it that high okay yeah that's a good idea but here let's finish up the parkour oh this is gonna be so scary yeah this parkour is super scary all right well i'm gonna start building the parkour at the top of the volcano all right all right sounds good here i'm just gonna build it over here at the start and have it go all the way back to our house wait what are you guys building now oh you want to know we're building parkour and we're making it go all the way above the volcano it's gonna be so epic once it's done wait you guys don't own that land i'm gonna build there and, oh my gosh whatever you know what? it's fine our parkour is still gonna be better than whatever you build uh no it's not you guys will see okay okay well what could you even possibly build that's gonna be cooler than our thing you're gonna have to wait. And this is so cool. Look at this. The parkour goes above the dirt bike track. And whoa, wait, hold on. That is actually such a cool idea. We have like our two things like intercombining with each other. But anyways, now we just have to connect these. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd say you start coming down to me and I'll start coming up to you. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea here. I guess let me go ahead and start turning my parkour so that, you know, it starts going down. Oh, no, I accidentally put water over my lava. Oh, now it's all obsidian. And wait, what? You put water over your lava? That is uh, quite the noob mistake, I will say. Yeah, I think you need to get a little bit better. But I am better. You literally have water elemental powers. How did you misplace your water? It's really hard to click, okay? Uh, okay, whatever you say. But anyways, here, let's go ahead and finish up connecting this parkour. We're actually getting really close, Speaker Man. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Now I'm just gonna make the parkour loop around the volcano, and we're going back to the house, right? Yep, that's where we're all meeting. And whoa, wait, you're using slime blocks? That looks so cool. Okay, yeah, that is actually a banger idea. Yeah, whenever you get up here, you have to jump onto the slime, and then you land right here. Oh my gosh, this is actually the most cool parkour course i have ever seen but guys we still
still need to add like some traps and obstacles and stuff later because you know if it's just like jumping from platform to platform that's a bit easy yeah but what kind of traps can we build for parkour and hmm, yeah that is a good point we can't really have like arrow shooters because we already did that um wait guys what if we have it where if you like land on a pressure plate or something you get struck by lightning oh that's awesome we should totally do that oh my gosh yeah that would be such a good idea okay well anyways here it looks like the parkour is almost done so we should probably test this out in a second let's just put this last jump here and okay i think it's all connected we should be able to do this let's go oh yeah this is such an awesome parkour this start looks so cool yeah this is awesome here let's go all the way up to the volcano and see how it looks up there and boom we're at the volcano now and oh look this parkour is getting harder at the volcano and oh wait okay you guys put one block here i like it i like it let's see how do we get back down now and okay we just have to jump on the slime block and then Wait, what? The slime block didn't work. What the? Oh, gosh. Maybe you just don't know how to use a slime block. Uh, no, I know how to use a slime block. Boom, look, it worked that time. Let's go. Yeah, now we just need to make it connect all the way back to the beginning. Oh, yeah, while you're doing that, me and Dash are going to set up the traps. And, oh, yeah, sounds good here. Let's go to the start of the parkour. And hmm, where should we put the first trap? We don't want to put it too early on. Uh, I think we should just have one like right here on the third jump. And oh, wait, third jump. Okay, that's pretty early on, but I guess we can here. Let me go ahead and grab a command block really quick. And whoa, wait, what are you going to do with the command block? And Oh, you'll see here. Let me just go ahead and put them all underneath over here. And here, I need to type out a command really quick. Let me just go ahead and write summon lightning. There we go. And now I'm pretty sure whenever we step over this, it didn't work. Wait, what? What? You have to write lightning bolt. All right, there. Let me fix it. And boom. And oh my gosh, it's so scary. Let's go. Oh, wait. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, here. Let's go ahead and grab this command block with the command in it. And let's just put it on all of the other ones. There we go. And now all of the pressure plates should work. Let's go. This is so epic. Yeah, this is going to be so scary to do parkour on. And boom, lightning. And oh my gosh, it's going to make so many people mess up. And yeah, wait. You have to be like super careful not to jump on the pressure plates. Wait, is it even possible not to jump on the pressure plates? I'm pretty sure you can if you just like go on the very side but oh gosh it's very difficult yeah it's pretty difficult but uh, here let's keep adding more let's put one right here and let's put one over here and, oh yeah right we have to add more we can't just have that one here let me go ahead and grab another pressure plate and all right here i'll start adding them on these ones over here let's go wait we should probably only put like a few command blocks and only like one pressure plate on it because i feel like four is too hard uh, fine i guess if you're bad at the game four is too hard how about we make it get harder later on so the first jump can only have one and then the next jump can have like two and then you know it can keep getting harder uh, fine all right, all right, and here, I guess this one over here can have two, and then uh, the next one up here can have three, just like that. There we go. This is going to be so awesome. And over here for this one, we can go ahead and put down four pressure plates. Yeah, there's no way they're going to be able to get past this. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tough. And wait, hold on. We should make it so that there's like an alternative route, just in case they don't want to go past the lightning. They can have like a little small parkour route over here, but it's only going to be made out of one block, so it's going to be harder. Uh, I think instead of one block, we should use some of these fences. Oh, wait, you want to make it like really difficult okay i guess we can do that uh here let's go ahead and just put these fences here wait hold on i want to test this out how difficult is it with the fences let's see and okay that is very difficult we might want to move that a little bit closer and just like that there we go and let's try this out and oh my gosh that's still very difficult but i'm pretty sure there's like more possible now yeah let's just make it connect to the next jump and then this area should be done all right perfect and is it connected now oh okay there we go i think it's connected it should be good perfect all right and boom there we go uh what are all those lightning sounds i'm hearing and, oh wait you can hear the lightning uh that's just our parkour it's pretty epic oh your parkour has lightning well my boat race has lightning i bet you didn't think of that and, wait you have a boat race wait that's actually a pretty cool idea but how did you put lightning in a boat race uh don't worry about it wait isn't water and electricity not supposed to mix uh i made it work all right all right well anyways here let me check out the rest of this parkour let's see what you built speaker baby and whoa wait this end part over here is pretty difficult it's just like one block jumps yeah i think if you made it that far then you should be pretty good at parkour and this should be easy and yeah wait hold on check me out i'm going beast mode on this parkour let's go let's go and what in the world are those oh gosh do i have to jump around these and oh my gosh i'm actually so good at parkour oh wait i messed that up come on and ow okay i fell off yeah that is very difficult yeah and i think at the end right here you just have to jump right here and then you just go back to the beginning let's go and just like that our parkour course is done this is awesome well okay what should we build next guys uh, i don't know this volcano is so awesome i think i want to put like a hidden secret in here and wait like a scavenger hunt <gasps> wait that would actually be a really good idea oh yeah scavenger hunt that'd be a great idea let's go back to the house i have an idea and oh you do all right all right uh let's see where am i gonna put this uh, i think we should just make a second floor so i could put this down and oh a second floor okay wait what are you even doing i'm gonna put down a sign and you'll see whenever i put it down uh okay here i guess let's just go ahead and build the second floor it's a good thing that we got that creative switcher 
here because this would have taken forever if we didn't have it. And oh my gosh, yeah, that creative switcher thing was clutch. I cannot imagine doing all this in survival mode. It would have taken us so long. Imagine the parkour in survival mode. That would be horrible. Yeah, that would have taken like days to build. Yeah, that would have taken so long. Well, anyways, what's this? All right, boys, this is the scavenger room and I'm going to challenge my friends I, to go I, around wait, this wait, entire wait, wait. island and find Why it. are you talking like that? Yeah, are you like filming a YouTube video or something? Is there a camera somewhere? Uh, yeah, I'm doing an intro for the YouTube video. Uh, you got to leave me alone. I, I'm... <clears throat> And boys, this is the scavenger uh, room, what, and you have to doing? go around this entire I, I island, and you have to find a bunch of awesome resources, starting off with these essences, and I'm going to hide the fire essence, and you get the electric essence, and you get the wind essence. And whoa, wait, okay, actually, hold on, I got the idea now, like a scavenger hunt room, okay, yeah, that sounds like a banging idea. And we can hide these essences anywhere on the island? Hey, right, boys, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to place this block here, and then uh, let me rotate this real quick, just like that. And wait, is that your fire essence? Yeah. Yep, and now what they have to do is they have to put it inside the item frame, and I'm going to do this for every single essence that we have. And whoa, that sounds like a super cool idea. And wait, guys, we can even put stuff that's like not the essences. So let's see, what else can we put? Uh, I guess we can go ahead and put like the electric essence thing over here. And what other items should we put for the scavenger hunt? Uh, what about this blue orchid? It's a rare flower, and we can hide it on the island somewhere. And, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced orchid, but uh, yeah, we can hide it somewhere. And yeah, that is actually a great idea. And wait, guys, we still have a lot of room on this what should we put over here um what about some jungle wood you know that could be one of the things because you know there's like jungle trees here so whoever's trying to solve it can get some jungle wood i have one idea of where we can hide another thing uh, we should probably hide something in speaker woman's house and, oh wait you mean like go and break into speaker woman's house uh, we could do that that would be pretty funny oh i know exactly what to put in there <laughs> is that a poop emoji well, yeah it makes sense doesn't it and uh yeah i guess that makes sense all right well here guys i don't think speaker woman is like over here around the bottom of her house so why don't we just like dig underneath her house and hide it oh yeah let's definitely do that now I got another idea after this. And, oh, you do? All right, well, here, we should probably start digging this hole first. We got to do this quick because we don't want to get caught. And here, let me go ahead and grab a little bit of sandstone really quick so that, you know, the sandals have fallen. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, I think we're messing with Speaker Woman's house. Hold on. We got to be careful. I think we'll have to go a bit further down. And yeah, I think you might be right here. Let's just go ahead and keep digging down until we reach the sandstone layer. And what? There's no sandstone layer. It's only gravel here. Wait, actually, hold on, guys. Come back up. Come back up. I have an idea. Wait, what's your idea? Here, let me just go ahead and grab a magic wand just like that. And then we can go ahead and select this block and this block and then do slash slash set sandstone and then we can just go ahead and do slash slash stack so now all of the blocks in front of it are also sandstone perfect all right this is awesome let's go ahead and start mining out and uh where should we put this and uh here i think this should be deep enough here yeah let's just do it over here all right well let's put down an item frame there we go and then speaker baby you got the poop emoji uh, yep there we go and perfect this is awesome okay well now we should go over here and we should probably like cover it up or something oh wait first we should probably make like a little staircase or actually no let's use a ladder and wait guys why don't we put some ghost blocks here so it's super hidden. And, oh, ghost blocks. That is a great idea. Okay, here. Let me go ahead and grab some of those. And we can put them down like that. And boom, this looks great. Although it kind of like doesn't really blend in with the, you know, sand. But it still works. Yeah, I think that's good enough. But uh, guys, I have an idea. For the next one we could do, we could just do like a diamond. And then we can make a treasure hunt. But wait, where are we going to hide the diamond? Oh, we're going to hide it like pirates. So let me grab some red wool. Boom, there we go. And uh, let's see, where am I going to put this? Uh, I think over here should be good. And oh, wait, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, actually, that sounds like a super cool idea. And wait, 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 no, hold on. This is way too obvious. Why don't we go ahead and put it over here behind this hill? Oh, yeah, let's definitely do that. All right, all right, here. I'll go ahead and dig out like a little X over here. And I guess you can just like do it there. Actually, that's a bit of a small X. Let me make it a little bit bigger so it looks better. There we go. And here, let's just go ahead and grab like a barrel. And we can go ahead and put that a few blocks underneath. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put the diamond in here. Perfect. Hey, right, boom, there we go. We have the diamond done. Oh, yeah, and I'll go put the blue orchid over here somewhere. And, oh, yeah, good idea. We need to hide that as well and wait guys we should probably hide the other stuff as well what else do we have we have like the elemental essence things that we need to hide right oh yeah i know exactly where i'm hiding my fire essence thing i've already made an area for it follow me and wait are you gonna hide it in the volcano wait that would be a perfect spot and whoa wait it looks like speaker woman built a lot of rings around here what the i don't know i think she likes rings all right and whoa wait are you gonna put it here that sounds like a great idea yep and i'm also gonna make it a bit more hidden by making a giant rusty iron door and it actually looks like lava so we're gonna put a sign here. Fire! Essence. There we go. And let me grab an item frame. And boom. 
boom, there we go. It is done. And, whoa, yeah, this hiding spot for your essence looks awesome, but I still need to hide my lightning essence somewhere. So let me see, where could I hide it? And wait, I should probably hide mine somewhere like on the parkour as well, because you know, uh, there's like lightning on the parkour. And wait, I just got a really good idea. Let me go ahead and grab a barrel really quick. And I can just go ahead and hide it over here underneath the parkour jump. And here, let me go ahead and grab one of those lightning essences really quick. Wait, 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 wait. Instead of underneath the parkour jump, uh, why don't you have it over here on the difficult parkour with the like uh, fences, remember? And oh yeah, actually that's a pretty good idea. That way it'll be a little bit harder to get. So here, I guess let me go ahead and like build a few blocks out this way. And I'll just go ahead and have the barrel be over here. And I guess I can have the barrel act as a jump as well. So you have to jump on the barrel and then jump on there. And oh wait, yeah, this parkour is difficult for a reason. And then I can go ahead and put my electrical essence inside of there. Let's go. Okay guys, I think we're almost done. I just need to hide my earth essence, but I don't know where to put it. Oh wait, I've got an idea for that. Uh, why don't you put it like on top of like the highest mountain and oh yeah right because you're like earth and you know mountains are a part of earth and i think that one's the highest one over there oh yeah that's a great idea and there we go i could just place that right there and perfect but anyways guys we still had a lot of room for like other things to find in our scavenger hunt room we gotta go add more stuff wait what about one inside the skull uh, what about a bone and oh, wait a bone that's a great idea all right well here the first thing we should probably do is add it in here and hold on wait we also have to add the diamond in here because uh, we haven't added that yet yeah let's put the diamond right here and then let's put the bone right next to it all right all right there we go i just put the diamond one over here and here we go i'll put the bone right here all right and i'll go hide the bone inside the skeleton skull let's go let's go that sounds like a great idea all right well anyways we still have two more unfilled slots for a uh, scavenger hunt thing so um hmm, what should we do what could we do let me think what if we put a fish in the ocean and wait a fish in the ocean isn't it just gonna like swim away i feel like that would be kind of difficult to find well not like an actual fish we can like put it in a chest right here near the shore and, oh yeah i guess that works all right and Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. We should probably move that chest a little bit lower. No, we can have it like kind of hidden like this. Yeah, I think that works. I didn't want to put it in the middle of the ocean because then it would be impossible to find. And, yeah, and whoa, wait, speaker on. What are you building over here? Are you building a boat race? Yep. I'm building a boat race and it's going to be the best one ever. And, wait, I'm not going to lie. This thing kind of looks a bit ugly. What? You clearly have no taste. Uh, yeah, why are you using orange things for this? Uh, why, why not, like, red and white? Uh, because orange is a way better color than red and white. Oh, yeah, 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 I agree. I agree orange is the best color. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense for a boat race. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure the boat colors are, like, red and white. Uh, not my boats. All right, all right, whatever. I guess we'll just see whose beach house is better at the tour. But, guys, now that we have the fish over here, we still need one more thing. So, let's see. Let me see what we can hide. And... <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. What about a jack-o'-lantern? That'll be super sick. Oh, yeah. Well, where should we hide it? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't think it really matters. We can just hide it, like, in any random location. So, here, I guess let's just go around and see. And wait, why don't we hide it over here, like, in between these two hills? So, we can just, like, put it on the floor right over here. And boom. There we go. We've got a jack-o'-lantern. Wait. No, 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 no. I've got a perfect idea where to put the jack-o'-lantern. Oh, you do? Uh, all right. I guess I'll just break this one. Where? Uh, come to the cave. I got something to show you. And, uh, okay. Where are we going to put it in the cave? Uh, we're actually going to put it inside the dispensers. Wait a minute. That's a great idea. Except, wait, we shouldn't put it in, like, all the dispensers like this here. Let's go ahead and get rid of, like, most of these and fill the rest with arrows. Let's just have, like, one thing of jack-o'-lanterns in here. That way, they have to get lucky to get it. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Here, wait, guys. I need to do something real quick. I got to just take these jack-o'-lanterns. And Wait, what, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. It's very important, though. Uh, okay. There we go. I just had to do that and there we go his name is spewer and wait what you just rename it to spewer uh okay i guess that works all right well now that that's done uh, the scavenger hunt is completely finished let's go and uh wait guys i just activated it oh gosh wait so did you speaker man wait did any spewers fall out and wait i don't think it's gone yet wait did the redstone break wait what no the dispensers went off but no jack lanterns came out and oh wait the arrow just went into the lava oh okay all right well anyways here let's go back over here but careful to not go over the tripwire there we go and wait guys why don't we go ahead and add like a big glass box to the top of the scavenger room area i think that'll look a lot better and also like if it rains you know we'll have some defense and wait we, we don't even have like a ladder or like a staircase or anything to get up here we have to add that oh yeah i'll start making the dome of glass awesome and here i'll go ahead and put down the ladder so here let's see where can we put it and oh i guess we can put it like somewhere on the side let me see actually let me see down here from the bottom where can we put this ladder uh maybe up here and oh yeah i guess this area works let me go ahead and grab it and whoa wait this glass area looks awesome yeah it'd be better if it was like 
orange glass, but I guess it's all right. Uh, what? No, I, this looks so much better. And wait, is it gray glass? Wait, this actually looks pretty cool either way. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, look at how awesome this looks. I'm not going to lie. Our whole area looks absolutely insane. There's no way speaker ones is going to be better. Wait, guys, if you stand right here, the house kind of looks like a face. And wait, does it? And oh, yeah, wait, it actually does. You know, like the door is the face and then we got the two eyes over here. Oh, yeah. And let me close the door. I, there we go. And look at this. This looks so cool. Wait, guys, we should name the house. Uh, what if we name it Housework? And, uh, wait, Housework? Like Stuart? Yeah, I guess Housework works. And okay, yeah, I guess we can call him Housework here. We should probably go ahead and put up a sign for that. Let's go and put it right here. We'll put Housework House. There we go. And boom, I'm pretty sure our house is 100% complete. Let's go. Oh, wait, you guys are done as well? Me too. And, oh, wait, you finished your house as well? Wait, guys, do you know what that means? Uh, that means it's time for the tours. Woo! Yeah, let's go. All right, Speaker Roland, it's time for the tours. It's time to see whose house is better. And wait, are we taking a look at your house first? Yep, my house is definitely going to be better. Come on. Oh, so we're saving the best for last? And oh, I see how it is. Uh, no. Okay, but before you guys enter my house, everybody has to go in survival mode. Oh, all right. Here, let me go into survival room. Really quick and boom there we go all right i'm ready uh, yeah i'm ready too yeah let's go let's start the tour okay then everybody come over here so the first room is the spleef room here everybody can get a shovel and oh, wait we're playing spleef uh wait you really didn't think this through i'm literally a fire element and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna melt this if i stand on it uh no it's reinforced snow just get on it how does that work is everybody ready to play spleef uh, yeah i'm ready okay then in three two one Go! All right, all right, go, go, go! Oh gosh, there's lava on the floor. And wait, but the speaker man can literally fly. Yeah, uh, you guys lose. Hey, that's totally cheating. Wait, but if you're using your elemental powers, then I'm using mine as well. Come here! Oh, fine. You want to play it that way? No. Oh, okay, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. That does a lot of damage. Okay, hey, guys, come hey. on. Let's just play normal spleef. No elemental powers allowed. Yeah, no elemental powers in my house. Ah, uh, take this. Oh no! Oh, no. And, but you guys both fell in. All right, speaker man. I guess it's just me and you now. Come here! You don't stand a chance. Get away! And wait, what? What are you doing? Come on, come on! And Alan, did you just? Punch me? What the heck? That's not allowed. All's fair in love and war. This isn't love and war. This is a game of spleef. All right, come here, Speaker Man. You're going down. No, you're going down. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, and wait, Speaker Woman, you built the spleef game completely wrong. We can just stand on the edge over here and just not get spleef. Uh, yeah, do you want to just call it a tie? I, I don't think she knows how to make a spleef game. And uh, yeah, we could just call it a tie. Wait, Speaker Man, here. Let's like call it a tie over here. Yeah, we'll call it a tie. And yeah, we'll call it a tie. And ow, ow, what the? Oh my gosh, that was not a tie, Speaker Woman. What was that for? I guess I won. And wait, is that all that's to the tour? Just one spleef room? Uh, no, there's other. Other rooms too. This is just the first one. Come on, this and way. Whoa, wait, what's this room over here? This is the parkour, of course. If you want to get to the next floor, then you have to do the parkour. And, whoa, wait, you have parkour as well. And did you just fall into your own lava? How in the world do you manage to fall into your own lava? You pushed me. I didn't touch you. You fell. Anyway. All right, well, here, I guess let's just go ahead and get this over with. This parkour looks pretty simple. Let's go and speaker and move out of the way. You can literally fly across the entire thing. What in the world? Uh, yeah, the fire powers are awesome. Uh, yeah, this doesn't seem fair. Yeah, get back down here. You have to do the parkour. I did do it. Did you not see me? No, you're lying. Oh, uh, fine. I guess I'll show you how good my parkour skills are. All right. All right. Well, here, let's just go ahead and get this parkour over with. This parkour actually doesn't seem too bad. Oh, my gosh. I already fell. And Wait, what? You already fell? How did you fall on, like, the second jump? Uh, yeah, I fell, too. But, oh, this feels nice. And, oh, yeah, right. Because you have, like, fire elemental powers. But you don't even take damage to it. And, oh, my gosh. What in the world? Yeah, I'm kind of awesome like that. But uh, let me just make this jump. And, oh, I missed. Let me just fly back up. And here, yeah, let's just get this over with. Come on. And, whoa, wait, what in the world is this over here welcome to the door maze seek prizes and you shall find well this is the door maze i created there's a hidden prize inside if you can find it oh i'm definitely going to find it and, oh gosh all right well everyone go 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 come on it's a race for the hidden prize and oh my gosh these doors are so confusing what the Found it. And, wait what you did hold on what's inside of it and whoa wait there's just a bunch of diamonds in here i'm taking all these uh, what no i'm taking them too late i already got like half of them let's go it doesn't matter we're all rich now okay okay come on that door maze was actually pretty easy but now do we just continue the parkour yep all all right, all right, here, let's go. This parkour is actually so easy. No problem for me and my expert parkour skills. Let's go, and boom, I made it to the end. Yeah, this is actually pretty simple. And, oh, wait, speaker baby, burn in the lava again. Oh my gosh, this parkour is so hard. And there we go, oh my gosh. Well, good job. The parkour can be a little bit hard, but if you go over here, there's a boat race. And, whoa, wait, didn't you have a boat race outside as well? Yep, but that's my outdoor one. This is my indoor one. Uh, what? How do you even race on this? You just gotta put the boats over here and get all the way to the and, end. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm going first. I'm an expert at boat racing. Let's go! Alright, be careful with the turns. 
And oh wait, don't even worry about it. I'm about to get a new PR. And oh, wait, Speaker Woman, this part's impossible. <laughs> Speaker Woman, did you not test your own race? Uh, this doesn't look like it's possible. It's totally possible. You guys are just bad. What? You literally just broke the block. And wait, hold on. This area over here seems like a bit of a hazard. Can't you just like fall off if you're not careful enough? Uh, yeah, but that's your fault if you fall off. Wait, I've got an idea. Uh, wait, you should give me a boat. Uh, okay. Well, here you go. All right. Well, let me start this race and let me see how fast I can complete it. And wait, what? All right, I'm going. What in the world? That's Totally cheating. And uh, wait, speaker woman, I think your design has a few flaws. You know what? I'm going around as well. And boom, done. Wait, what? You guys just went to the dead end. You guys are still losing. Oh, well, let me just finish the race. And oh, wait, hold on. We have to go around this way. Never mind. All right, come on. Let's finish the race. And speaker man, how are you ahead of me? And wait, is this another part that you can't go through? Uh, what do you mean? It's perfectly go through. Yay. All right, well, there we go. And oh my gosh, I'm just going to keep on going. Ah! And out oh, he fell into the lava, but I finished it. And oh my gosh, I almost fell in the lava as well. All right, well, that, I finished the butt race. That was pretty easy. Boom, congrats. Well, if you go right over this way, then I'll give you a whole new type of race. And, whoa, wait, yeah, you have a lot of races here. All right, what's this next one? So this is an electric course. So here you go, here you go, here you go. And whoa, wait, an electric course? Hold on, do we get fireworks? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, just uh, look that way for a second. And uh, wait, guys, I think she forgot to make the fireworks. All right, well, uh, I'm going to get ahead of you guys. Bye. And, wait, but, but, hey, he can literally fly. He's getting a head start. Oh, my gosh. Wait, speaker, can you hurry up with the fireworks? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know what you mean. I always had fireworks. Uh, here, here, here. And, okay, quick, quick, quick. Speaker man's getting a lead. Come on. All right, here you go, Speaker man. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on, Speaker man. I'm catching up. And, uh, wait, what? Ah, I messed up. I messed up. I didn't even activate my Elytra. Uh, you're kind of bad at this. What? No, I'm not. Come on, come on here. I just have to get through all these rings. And oh, my gosh. Wait, this is actually harder than I thought. Come on. What, Speaker baby? You're so fast. Well, yeah, it's because you don't have fireworks. And yeah, wait, Speaker man. You should have waited for the fireworks, but you're still ahead of me, so I can't say anything. Wow, you guys are really bad at this. I already finished. What in the world? Okay, wait, hold on. This electric course is actually really difficult. Wait, I can't be last. Come on, where is Speaker Man at? And no, I'm just skipping these rings. I don't even need to go through them. Come on. I need to get past Speaker well, Man. You're skipping them. I'm skipping them too. I'm just going straight to the end. And ow, ow, ow. This is so painful. I keep hitting all the stuff. And okay, come on, come on, come on. And boom, I made it. Let's go. Uh, I made it better. And ow, ow, ow. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my gosh, I'm at one heart. Uh, I think we can call it all time. Uh, no, we can't. Speaker Man cheated first and then dashed. I, mean, he, I guess he can get second, but I clearly won. I didn't cheat. I flew with my power. And you still lost from going way before us. All right, well, let's go on to the next thing. Come on. All right, all right. And wait, is it time for the outdoor boat race? That one actually looked more fun. Yep, come on. Let's go. I'm just going to use the electro to go super fast. Come on, let's go. And okay, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here too. And I'm landed. Okay, let me just get you your boat. And wait, are you placing them underneath the water? How does that work? Don't question it, but there you go. And whoa, wait, are we all going to race against each other? Yep, everybody get into your boats. Uh, my boat doesn't have any gas. And wait, yeah, same here. I, I think you forgot a few of these. Yeah, and forget something like fuel. No, not me. And oh, oh, I, I see, I see. Okay. All right, well, I'm ready to get the show on the road. And all right, it looks like my boat is working now that it's got some fuel. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, let me line up. Let me line up. And there we go. Now I'm ready. On the count of three. One, two, three. Go, go, go. And oh, gosh, I got a late right, start. I'm going. Come on, come on, come on. And, wait, speaker man, you just skip some of the stuff. You just went outside of the orange ah. things. And wait, I'm in the lead. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, I'm messing up. And wait. I think I won. Uh, no, you didn't pass through the finish line. Oh, gosh, I forgot. And wait, how many laps is it? It's three laps. Three laps? What the? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. I'm, like, way in the behind right now. Yep, I'm on my third lap. This is the final lap. Come on. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Come on, come on. I'm on my third lap as well. And you know what? Hold on. I'm going through this. This counts. I have to win this no matter what. Come on, come on in. Let's go. Oh, let's go. go. Even though you cheated. Uh, no, I won. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you cheated. You didn't win. Well, there's a couple bending of the rules here, but I suppose I'll let it slide. Dash wins. Let's go. I know. I Ah, ah, wait, stop, stop, stop. That was a lot of damage. Say that I won. Uh, I'll say it in one second. Let me just go over here. And, ah, ah, stop, stop, stop. Ah, I need to fly away. I can still hit you while you're flying. Come here. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Well, I'm faster than you, so get away from me. All right, well, that concludes the rest of my tour. Wait, that's it? Yep. And I'm going back into creative mode. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Come on, come on, come on. And, okay, I'm good. Well, anyway, Speaker Owen, do you want to check out our house? Uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, it Literally cannot be better than my house, but sure. Uh, it can, and it is. Uh, come here, come check out awesomeness. All right, all right. Well, here, everyone, switch over to creative mode. It's time for us to give the tour of epicness. And oh, wait, hold on. I just realized that we don't really have like a pathway to get inside. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to enter this. Uh, here, just jump over, and then uh, you can just do some parkour or not. You can just, you know, not listen to me. Well, here I am. Show me around. All right, welcome to Houseward. Uh, this is the most awesome house ever. And yeah, we have so much epic stuff here. Uh, well, wait, guys, first we have to go 
to the racetrack. That's what we built first. Yeah, let's go to the racetrack first, and then we'll show you everything else. Asward is an interesting name, but okay, let's go. All right, all right. Well, the start is right over here, and we've got all these bikes over here, but uh, I guess since there's only one person trying to get out, uh, you can just choose whichever bike you want. Uh, I want a pink one. Uh, fine. Here, let me make you a pink one. Minus points for not having a pink and one. What? That's You can't count minus points for that. Pink is a great color, and of course I can do that. There you go. There's your stupid pink bike. Uh, you guys don't even have any fuel in this. Uh, what are you talking about? And, uh, yeah, that's because we just put it down because you requested a new color. All right, uh, here. I guess let's go ahead and fuel that up. Uh, you're gonna have to get off it so I can fuel it up. And no, don't don't worry about it. I'm fueling it up. And okay, it should be good. Yeah, there we go. There should have enough fuel in it. Uh Okay. All right, I have my motorcycle. I'm ready. And yeah, all right. What you have to do is go across this entire racetrack and uh, make it back to the finish line as fast as you can. Yeah, and also keep your eyes peeled because there's some awesome stuff here. And, oh, yeah, there's also some traps, so uh, be careful. Okay, not a problem. I'm ready. I will go in three, two, one, go! Woo! Go, 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 but be careful. There is some traps and Oh, wait, be careful. You don't want to bang into the walls too much. Well, I am trying my best. These things are hard to and, drive. Oh, wait, you just made it to ow, the first ow, area. Ow. And wait, I think you just dodged all of the arrows. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, whoa, wait, you're actually going so fast. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this, aren't I? Whee! And you're about to be at the end right here. Just don't drive off the course. Here we go. Here we go. And boom, there you go. You finished the race. And oh, wait, you're going for a second lap. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to see those arrows again. Oh, yeah, the arrows are really nice, but uh, you actually have to be fast to catch up to them. And oh, you caught up to them that time. Yeah, I got the full experience. Yeah, I guess you did by getting hit by the arrows if that's what you wanted, but yeah, good job. You finished the race. All right. I want the next thing. I want the next thing. All right. Well, I get off your bike and come back into Houseward. Why is it called Houseward? Uh, because it's in Houseward. Uh, don't worry about it. And uh, what should we show them next, guys? And wait, probably the parkour next because that's what we built, right? Uh, here, check it out. It's right over here. Ooh. Cool block. And yeah, pretty much speaker woman, this is our parkour track. And you have to go all the way up to that volcano over there and through the volcano. And then you can come back. All right, let's go. And, oh, wait, you might want to be careful. There are some traps. And oh, wait, it looks like you Ouch. just found the first one. Oh, this is card. Oh my gosh. Are you serious, speaker woman? It's like the fifth jump. Uh, come on. And oh, yeah, you can just Whee. use your earth powers. And, oh, ah. <laughs> why did you hey. fly like that? What? I used my powers too hard, I think. Hey, come on. Get me up there. Here, there you go. I'll let you skip a jump. Whee. All right, let's go. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> oh, my, how are you so bad at parkour, speaker woman? Okay, hey. no more skipping jumps. That was just, that was awful. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> How are you I so bad? I can't imagine, but I don't think that way. Come on, one more try, one more try. Be honest, are you actually trying? Yes, I'm trying. I don't think so. And Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. what? And, wait, hold on. Let me test this out. Is this even possible? And yeah, that is definitely possible. Yeah, I have never fallen on this jump ever. Look at how easy this is. Oh, uh, uh, don't look at that. I'm trying getting a running start and... Oh my gosh. I think I just need to start it from the beginning, okay? I, I just need to build some momentum. And wait, you really want to restart? Uh, okay. Trust me, trust me. Okay, I totally got it this wait, time. What was that? Did you just splash yourself with something? You literally splashed me too. No, no, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa, I can totally do do this now. You just splashed me with jump boost. Wait, you still messed up with jump boost? Let me just get a well, speaker, baby. Can you lift me up really fast? I cannot believe you're messing up this bad, even while cheating. What? I'm not cheating. I never cheat in my life, okay? I still have the jump boost potion at, like, on myself, right? I, I think you're cheating, not me. Alright, alright, well, here, come on. Let's just get this parkour over with. There's only a few jumps left. Well, actually, not really. There's quite a bit. And, oh, yeah, you gotta be careful of the pressure plates. They strike lightning. There's so many right there. Ah! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You have to like try to dodge them. You have to land on like the blocks that don't have the pressure plates on them. Don't worry, I'm bringing her back. Whee! Um, yeah, I guess you're getting checkpoints, but yeah, just keep going. This is where it starts getting easy. Uh, yep, I'm just good. Yeah, this is the easy part, but wait, here, you might want to pause here. This is, oh, wait, you're not going to pause. Okay, uh, never mind, just go for it. See, I don't need to pause. I'm just that good at parkour. Ah! <laughs> wait, did you fall again? Uh, I made some mistakes. I think you jinxed yourself. No, I didn't. Huzzah! Oh! <laughs> Did you just fall again? Uh, I made, I made another mistake. Uh, guys, I think we should make like a fall counter or something to track how many times she's fallen so far. And okay, wait, you might want to be careful. This is the hard part. Uh, there, you only have one block, and if you mess up, you fall into the lava. Oh, what, that part right there? How does that she do easy. this with ease, but she messes up on the four blocks? Whee! Uh, oh my gosh. I just think she's, you know, like uh, faking us out. Whee! And wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
again. Okay, let me try again. This time for sure. Huzzah! Here we go. Ah! And oh, you messed up again. Speaker, baby, please help. I think we should just let her skip this one, guys. And yeah. Yeah, it gets more difficult. Yeah, I'm not sure how well you're going to do against this one over here. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm really good at parkour. Uh, clearly not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, here, I think we should just move on to the next thing that we have. We actually have a scavenger hunt and it is so epic. Yeah, it's probably going to take her like a year or so to complete though. Okay, well, let's see. And yeah, pretty much what you have to do is find all of these items around the island. And here, I guess to start off with this piece of wood since this one's like a super easy one. Oh, wait, I just need to find these things. Uh, well, then I'm just gonna... And uh, I already wait, found no, it. No, that's not how it works. You have to, like, find it on the island. Kind of lame. Okay, well, the wood should be pretty easy. And, yeah, the wood is literally right out there, so it should be no problem for you to get. But some of these items are super hidden. Yeah, you've already passed some of these items. And, yeah, you actually have passed a lot of them. And, oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, you want to go that way? Uh, how else am I supposed to leave this area? Uh, I don't know, you know, like, the exit right here. Uh, this is a cooler way to do it. Uh, yeah, but it's not working, so I don't think it's any way Anyways, to do it. Anyways, I get the wood. Yay, good job. You're getting the wood the first thing out of what like 10 things uh, yeah we have let's see eight things yeah 10 things to do and you've got one i'm really good at this all right all right well anyways good job you got the first one and okay these next ones are kind of difficult but the first one is this fire essence and uh you actually went past this already yeah you went past a lot of these already wait isn't it the speaker man he has fire powers uh, no it's actually on the map you have to go find it i already know this one's gonna be impossible for you here i'll help you out Please. And, oh, wait, she's just gonna get to skip this entire one. All right. Not skip entirely. I'm just gonna help her out and point her in the right direction. Mom, look, I can fly. And there you go. I'll start you right here. It's somewhere in this area. Uh, it's very obvious. You just gotta look. And wait, did you find it? I see a door. <gasps> wait, you're actually getting really close. And yeah, that is exactly it. Let's go. Boom, easy. That's not a problem. Ah! <laughs> oh, I can help with it. I, we just need some wind to put her out. <laughs> what the? Ah! It worked. All right. Well, anyways, I got the fire essence. What's uh, next? Okay. I guess you got the fire essence. Well, anyways, let's see. What is the next one? And oh, for the next one, you need to get the earth essence, which is that green one over there. And up, uh, this one's kind of hard, actually. Yeah. Maybe we should have gave her clues. Uh, this is actually kind of easy when you think about it, but uh, I don't think she's going to see it for a while. Uh, let's see. There's grass. This looks like green. They're basically the same thing. I'm sure I can just round up. Uh, you are nowhere near the earth essence. I just want that to be known. Uh, well, this is seeds, and I got it from the earth, so it's earth uh, essence. Wait, I'm not sure if that uh, counts. No, that's not how it works. No, it totally does. You really don't like doing things normally, do you? I'm doing things the correct way. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I got uh, it. Okay, I guess we can let that one slide, but uh, anyways, this next uh, one you no, actually- No, I'm not letting that one slide. She needs to find it. Uh, I can't believe you just got rid of my seeds. I'm gonna have to put some other ones down. Here, don't worry. I'll help you with this. Just follow me. Okay. And yeah, this one is speaker baby, so he knows where it is. Here, just come with me this way. And it's on top of this mountain somewhere. You just gotta find it. I'm not gonna tell you where. Wait, what? Why are you putting things all across the map? How was I supposed to find these? Uh, well, it's called a scavenger hunt for a reason. That's kind of the whole point. Uh, sounds like this is a terrible scavenger hunt. Have you never done a scavenger hunt? Uh, I hunt scavengers all the time. What does that mean? What the heck does that even mean? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm an expert. Uh, okay. All right. Well, anyways, you're actually really close and, oh, well, it looks like it's right there. Boom. Easy. I didn't even need any help. I got it. Yes, you did. You were going to turn in seeds. What are you talking about? Seeds are earth essence, but I suppose this little weird spiral thing works. Wait, you're going the wrong way. The house isn't this way. The house is, uh, literally this way. <laughs> okay. Let's go through here. Oh, wait. Why is there a heat axe? Oh, oh, wait. I guess coming around this way did have some advantages. Oh, I found the diamonds. Good job. That was another one of the scavenger hunts. Things. Uh, why is there a bone right there? Oh, yeah, that's Whee! another one. All right, give me this. And oh, wait, is this the bone that you hit in the skull? Oh, I didn't even see that. Perfect. See, I told you guys, I do think it's the correct way. I don't think she knows that if she went the other way, she would have gotten the flower. There's a flower. Wait, hold on. I want to check out what's the other way. I remember seeing a light blue flower in the scavenger room. I wonder if I have to find that. Oh, wait, look, there's one right there. Easy. And oh, well, there you go. Good job. You found another one of the things. You found three things on one go that time. Good job. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I told you I hunt scavengers. I don't think she's ever done a scavenger hunt before. That's not what scavenger hunts are. What? No, there's a lot of hunting of the scavengers and I'm great at it. No, you're a scavenger hunting for items that I, I don't think you know what you're talking about. I don't think you know what you're talking about. All right. All right. Well, guys, it doesn't matter. There's only a few things left that you need. So let's see. What else do you need? You already have the earth element and then, oh, wait, you need to get the electric element, which is kind 
kind of hard for you. Okay, put this here, and then put this here. Wow, you actually made pretty good progress. You have five done. Oh, wait, no, you have six done. Wow. All right, speaker baby, can I have this, please? Uh, no, but I could point you in the right direction. It's on the parkour again. Oh, okay. Please take me to it. <sighs> Fine, follow me. And, wait, what's speaker baby? You're helping out speaker always so much. You're just giving her the answers at this point. I'm just showing her where they are. I mean, I'm not giving them to yeah, her. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I've done everything fair and square. Yeah, if it wasn't for speaker baby, I don't think she'd ever find any of these. And, yeah, well, anyways, you probably see where the next one is right now. It's inside this barrel over here. And whoa, but you actually made that jump. Wait, what? How are you doing that parkour? Yeah, I'm pretty good at parkour, as I said. Uh, uh, you literally just ate your words there. That was just perfect timing. I think every single time she says she's good at parkour, she falls down. But I totally meant to do that. Now I can reach one back at the house. Duh. Oh, I guess that did actually help you. All right, well, let's see. How many more things do you need to get? I'm pretty sure you only have like three more things that you need to get. Okay, I just need a puffer fish, a pumpkin, and a poop emoji. Oh, yeah, the poop emoji? You're definitely going to know where this one is. Uh, yeah, but here, but you should get these two first. Uh, so, yeah, where do you think a pumpkin and a fish would be? Well, a fish would probably be in the ocean. Uh, it has to be somewhere in here. Oh, wait, I think I see something over and, there. Oh, yeah, I mean, the fish one was pretty easy. It's just right in this chest over here. Oh, I have to uncover it. What the heck? Uh, yeah, that's how, you know, that works. All right, boom, I got the puffer fish. I'm going to get the pumpkin as well before I go back. Mm, let me see. And Oh, the pumpkin is a little bit trickier. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to find it. Speaker baby. Oh, my gosh, are you serious? Please, let me know where the pumpkin is. Dash, do you think I should give her a hint? And honestly, yeah, go for it. It's pretty difficult. You passed it twice when you were on this racetrack here. It might be in the cave. In the cave, okay. Uh, oh, I have to get on this correctly. Onwards we go! All right, just keep on following the racetrack. All right, all right, and yeah, it's inside Catch. of the cave, and wait, what? did you actually just get it? And oh, wait, she fell into the lava. Gosh, how in the world do you manage? Oh, there it and, is. Wait, yeah, you actually got it out of the dispenser when you went through the tripwire. Okay, I, I guess you got really lucky. I thought you were gonna have to find it inside of the dispenser, but I guess not. I'm just really good at these types of things. All right, now you gotta find one more. Yeah, but I'm gonna put these back first. And oh yeah, you have to find the poop emoji. That's probably going to be the best one. Yeah, it's pretty simple to find. You just got to think, uh, you know, what's poop nearby. Okay, just put this here and here. There we go. And I have a feeling I know where you guys put this. And wait a minute. No way you actually find it. Well, I know that you guys have very poopy taste in architecture. So I think that it's going to be somewhere like right here. Oh, what? That's just stone. What are you talking about? It, yeah, wait, that's just like normal stone. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, oh looks like added. there's something inside here. Well, 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 isn't it exactly what I thought? You and your poopy taste. Uh, no, uh, do you see your house? It looks like a tea got squished. Your house is literally the color of poop. Well, what are you talking about? Yours has brown wood over here as well. No, mine's the color of chocolate. Uh, they're the same color. I don't know what you're talking about, but look, I got all the items. All right, well, anyways, I guess since you got all of them, that means you beat our course. Well, uh, you plus speaker, maybe, since you helped you so much. Yeah, and guess where you went for your prize? Okay, what do I win? Right, guys, are you ready? This is your prize. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, that was never planned. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, the lot in so the world. Nice. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.